This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for the 18th of February. James Spann here. It's cold this morning, but a pretty decent warm-up today. And uh, looks like our next big chance of rain will be early next week. Maybe we can get through the weekend unscathed. Let's take a look at some of the uh, shots from yesterday when the sun was going down. Boy, that's nice. That's the uh, Coleman Sky Cam. It's looking west from the uh, water treatment facility just east of downtown Coleman. You can see the steeples of the Sacred Heart Church there on the right. That's a really, really nice shot. That was uh, uh, during our 5 o'clock news. And uh, there's the sunset coming from Mount Chiha. Again, just really nice. Uh, just uh, nice to see those days getting longer. And that's nice. Gulf Shores, Alabama. Sun going down. And we're almost past the time of the year where the sun goes down over the water. Uh, soon uh, it's going to be going down farther and farther off to the right as we uh, get deeper into the year. And a quick peek this morning at the Birmingham sky cam. It's cold out there. Here's our water vapor satellite shot. The uh, pattern beginning to de-amplify across the country. The trough weakening over the east, and that will allow warmer days ahead. But this morning, yep, it's pretty cold. Uh, mostly 20s on the board, Birmingham at 25, but we should warm up nicely today. Some spots may be climbing almost 30 degrees from morning low to afternoon high, and of course that means the air is awfully dry. Again, not much happening with uh, winter weather advisories around the nation. Got a few around the uh, Appalachians, including the mountains of North Carolina, but no major storm systems to deal with. In the rain for the next five days. Uh, this is valid through Tuesday evening of next week at 6 o'clock. And this is suggesting rain amounts of about uh, three quarters of an inch to one inch over our state. And most all of that will be on Monday of next week. Check out the modeling. This is the 06 CGFS at noon today at 500 millibars. And again, you can see how the whole pattern is beginning to de-amplify. Got a northwest flow aloft. Dry air means a sunny day today. And we're expecting a high up in the low 50s. Tomorrow, maybe mid to upper 50s. In fact, that's likely. Some of our friends in West Alabama could bump that good old 60-degree mark. Saturday looks pretty dry. Again, a little weak impulse showing a little potential for a shower around the shoals, but I'm beginning to think the chance of rain is so small, it's not really worth mentioning now. Uh, kind of a mixture of clouds and sunshine and highs in the upper 50s. Not really a bad day at all. Uh, Sunday looks dry, and by golly, we might hit the low 60s as a south wind kicks in. It'll be good, but we note the storm developing off to the west, and there's Monday, and you can see how that uh, fast zonal flow is set up. A little trough rotating through here, surface low north of us, and that looks wet. So, again, it looks like the next good chance of uh, rain and maybe even some thunder with that would be uh, Monday of next week, maybe beginning late Sunday night after midnight. Tuesday, that storm is gone. It turns a little colder. Like a little snow showing up out there around uh, uh, Texarkana and Shreveport. And I'll tell you now – my, obviously, model madness is kicking in. We'll go to Wednesday of next week, and that just shows cold and dry. And Thursday of next week looks dry on this run and fairly cold. There's a storm developing in the Gulf, and then this run just kind of shunts it off to the south and loses it as we stay dry and cold. But look at what the uh, 18Z run of the model did yesterday. It developed a whopper of a snowstorm here next Thursday night. So, again, is something like that possible? Sure. We're not forecasting that. and I mean, nobody in their right mind would do that seven or eight days in advance. But let's just see it. And, again, that's been showing up pretty consistently. But on this latest run, it's gone. We'll see. With the negative Arctic Oscillation, the active southern stream, sure, something like that's possible. Now, let's go out there at the end of the forecast on March the 5th. Trough to the west. Storm system to the west, that looks kind of stormy, doesn't it? It's getting into our tornado season. But again, there's the Arctic Oscillation, and you can clearly see that it stays strongly negative into early March. So that means any warm-up probably won't last long. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog the next video by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, don't forget to watch us on TV this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. 
Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things of Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.